Hello everyone and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler where of course every day is a train show. My name is DJ and today we're going to be looking at some things that hopefully will be finding their way on your layout real soon. Hey, are you a kit builder and you like to construct your own cars? Well, I got the perfect thing from you, or for you rather, from Atlas. Check out these train man kits here. These are our 40 foot boxcar train man kits in a whole bunch of different row names, Main Central, New Haven, we had the Pittsburgh and Lake Erie, the Wabash, Southern Pacific, the Lehigh Valley, the Lackawanna, the Root of the Phoebe Snow, and of course the Western Pacific. Now these kits are really nicely put together as you can see. Of course, we're not taking them out of the box because, well, it's not really interesting to take a look at a whole bunch of parts, but Essentially what you do is you put it together if you want to save a little bit of money and you like to put things together This is a great opportunity for you and the neat thing about this is the price. How much is it? Well, I'm gonna tell you engineer hall these things retail for $19.99, but we're selling it here at Yankee Dabbler for $13.99. Wow. I know, you did not mishear that. $13.99 for these cars. We always talk about high quality cars and if you want to get a whole bunch to create a nice long unit train, well this is a very inexpensive way to do that. Plus, it passes the time. Maybe it's a neat project you could do with the kids. And uh, let's face it, if you have a kids at home, you want to keep them busy. Here, do that. All right. So, I mean, it's the best thing to do. We got a whole bunch of these kits here. So, come to Yankee Dabbler. Get these on your railroad today because I know you're really going to like them. And for our people in the comments section here, this is one of my favorite things about these boxes. I love the artwork that they have here. And we'll give a little bit of uh, something to someone that can name me what railroad that is i know how about you comment below and we'll get you a engineer hall coffee mug it just might say something else that will scribble up but you never know comment below so we take a look at a lot of engines that we have on our show here but you might be thinking you know i really need something to run them with well, if you're looking for a starter set, I have this here for you. Back in stock, the NCE Power Cabs. This is the complete DCC starter set. So a lot of people love the way that these remotes feel. They feel good in your hand. That has very easily accessible uh, buttons on here. As a matter of fact, this is what Engineer Hall uses on his layout. So if you want to be just like Engineer Hall, this is the way to go here, okay? So it comes with everything what you need here, as you can see. It is an awesome looking device here. So some people like uh, Digitrack, some people like uh, the Bachman system, but here we have the NCE system here and it retails for $299.95. We're selling it here at Yankee Dabbler for $249.99. So that's a great deal to get on here. Of course, you can always throw that engineer hall discount to get a little uh, extra off of there. But if you're looking to get started with the DCC uh, hookup, Look no farther than NC. Get these on your railroad today. I know you're gonna like it. I know we've been taking a look at a lot of HO stuff lately, and I'm sure N scalers want to be represented. Well, don't worry because we got a great thing for Broadway Limited that we're gonna check out. These are some SD70 ACEs for your consideration. Check out these uh, bad boys here. We have here a couple of great uh realistic looking designs here these were all prototypical engines that came out we have the first one here that says thank you veterans so that's their veteran locomotive for the montana rail link we have the thank you for essential workers that's an awesome look then we have this kansas city southern uh support our troops veteran engine and then we have two Union Pacific engines, the Powered by Our People, and finally the 1943. And these are just fantastic engines. I'm sure you've seen these decorated before for HO. I think O scale has also done them too. But this is the first time we're having them in N scale and by Broadway Limited. And of course, you know the great uh, things that Broadway Limited does with their locomotives. They sound great. They look great. And you know what? Don't take my word for it. Let's fire them up and see what they sound like. All aboard! <laughs> So because our essential workers are so important to all of us, and thank you to our, all of our essential workers out there, we're going to run the Montana Rail Lake Essential Workers Engine. All aboard. All right, here is the horn. The bell. And if you notice when the horn uh, blows, you see the ditch lights rotate, uh, oscillate in the front. All right, here we go.
Ah bon. So that is an awesome looking engine. If you want an engine that's a little bit different, it has some great artwork to it, I think these really fit the bill, especially for an end scaler. Now these engines come complete with everything you would want for Broadway Limited, it has Paragon 4 sound. These are also looking locomotives. They sell for $279.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $239.99. Now these type of specialty engines do not last long, so if this is something you're thinking about, don't hesitate because you're going to miss out on these. So get these engines on your railroad today. I know you're going to love them. These are just great looking engines that are going to be, uh, really, they're a conversation starter. You know, you have someone come over and take a look at their, your layout. You see that. It really starts up a conversation, and it just look great. So get them on your railroad today. We haven't taken a look at any diesel locomotives in, uh, I don't know, three seconds. So we're going to take a look at some more, and we got these from Atlas. Check out these puppies here. We got these SD24 diesel locomotives here. And I have a bunch of different road names here. I have a couple of different variations of the Union Pacific. I only took the early version out, but I have another var uh, variation. I have here the Santa Fe, and I love the blue and yellow paint scheme. It always stands out really well. We have here the Southern Pacific, always a standard. I really like this one here. This is a really neat Burlington diesel locomotive. I just think that color scheme really pops. And I know a lot of people really like the Southern. And of course, these two last versions are the high hood model, where the other ones are the low nose. But these are great looking engines here, especially if you take a look at this uh, uh, Burlington one again. I just love the lighting hookup here. As you can see that all the uh, number boards are illuminated here. I have some really neat looking headlight features here. I do have crew figures inside the locomotive. So if I take a look inside there, I do have some guys driving the engine here. Oh, sorry. It's running the engine. Oh, gee, I'm sorry. They're running the engine. There you I gotta go. be technical, okay? So anyway, we got some guys running the engine in there. So that's pretty cool. So, I mean, these are just really neat looking locomotives and Atlas does a really good job of giving you a very economical friendly diesel locomotive, but it still has a lot of detail and they sound great too. But don't just take my word for it. Actually, you know what? We've been doing this show for a long time. You should take my word for it. Forget it. We're moving on, right? Run it. Fine. All right. We're going to run them. And uh, I think you're really going to like what you see. So take my word for it and also take yours. Let's go. Let's go. Now, I always show you the standard sounds that these engines have, like the horn, the bell, the revving. But there's actually a lot of other uh, sequences and sound effects that are inside of these locomotives that we don't really take a look at. And I wanted to take a look at some of those right here. So let's go to this Burlington engine that I have on the track here. And as you can see, it has some various air compressor sounds uh, happening there. Let's see if I want the couplers to um, make a sound. Here we go. All right, let's say if I want the handbrake to go. How about I want to hit the isolation switch? <laughs> what if I want that uh, cab door to open? All right, and what about the uh, engine compartment doors opening? So there's just a lot of really neat features that go into these engines here outside of the normal stuff. Now, of course, let's get into the normal stuff. So let's start her up. All right, let's hear that horn. Let's get the bell going. All aboard.
So that is a great sounding engine. Oh, it's a great looking one too. And I think all the other ones are very comparable. And no, no you're not going to be disappointed getting any of those engines on your railroad. Now, I actually do have a couple of different variations. For example, the Southern, I have two different versions. One has the logo on the front. The other one does not have it, indicating a different time in its career service. And of course, I have a couple different ones for the Union Pacific and an early and later paint scheme as well. Now, you might be wondering how much these are. Well, they retail for $299.95, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $209.99. So awesome deal to get on these engines here. Atlas does a great job with their products, and I know you're not going to be disappointed with these engines as well. So come to Yankee Dabbler, get these engines on your layout today, pulling trains up and down your layout. So those SD24s are a little outdated for you. Well, don't worry, because we upgraded and we got you an SD26. Slight upgrade. We have these brand new engines here from Atlas. These are the SD24, uh, wow, SD26s, messing up already. I have here the Gulf, uh, Guilford rail system. And that one is a neat engine because it does come with ditch lights. Then I have two Santa Fe's. I have here the yellow war bonnet paint scheme. And then I have here the Kodachrome paint scheme. And this one is actually kind of an interesting engine because this is, for those of you who don't know, a failed merger in the mid the late 90s. The Santa Fe was going to merge with the Southern Pacific and the deal was pretty much done. The Disney had a couple of dot the uh, I's across the T's. So they came out with this really unique paint scheme where they kind of jumped the shark a little bit and they put SF here and in this blank area that was right here, they were going to put SP. And if you notice in the front here, they did the same thing. SF and in the middle, it was going to say SP. Well, what happened was the merger never happened and you just had a bunch of these random engines with missing paint schemes in here. So they became known as the Kodachrome diesels and that's a really neat looking engine. Now, these engines, just like the SD24s, are selling for the same price, $299.95, but we're selling them here for $209.99. It's a great deal to get on these locomotives, and once again, we're right here with these bad boys sound like, and I went a little bit in detail with that Kodachrome paint scheme, so let's get her started, shall we? So I like the fact that even though it's a different diesel locomotive, very similar to the other one, we have different soundscape in it. So here is the horn. Here is the bell. And away we go. You know what I really like about the sound system that they have in here too is I can hear the real squealing. That is an awesome addition here. All aboard. So that is a cool looking engine. It sounds awesome too. I love those flange squealing in there. Uh, I mean, there's just a lot happening in those engines and I think you're gonna be happy with any one of them. Now, once again, these engines retail for $209.95. So make sure, I'm sorry, $209.99. So make sure you go to yankeedabbler.com, get these engines on your railroad because, well, once again, as I always say, if you miss out on it, you'll see it on somebody else's layout and you'll be thinking, shoulda got it. So. 
Coming to Yankee Dabbler, get it on your layout today. Well, that's it for everything brand new here at Yankee Dabbler. I hope we found something that you are interested in purchasing to put on your layout. We had a couple of different options here. Of course, we had the SD24s. We had the SD26s. We had the SD70ACE. We had these Atlas Trayman kits that you could put together yourself. And, of course, we had the NCE power caps that you can run your empire with. But if none of these things match your interest, that's okay because we have a whole bunch of things available on our website, yankeedabbler.com. We are continuously adding things to that website daily. So if there's something brand new that you are looking for or something old that you kind of miss, well, check it out on our website. I know we're going to find something for your railroad in no time. I want to thank you very much for tuning into our show here. If you're not already subscribed to Engineer Hall's channel, I don't know what you're doing. Please hit that subscribe button. Get caught up on all the brand new things that we have coming up here we have the spring layout spectacular we have the fall layout extravaganza i'm sure we got a lot more videos coming out as a matter of fact engineer hall is doing something interesting he took out his uh garage and is installing an entire hump yard all right the missus is not too happy about it but hey you gotta have that hump yard right engineer hall I gotta head to home, baby. I, I know, right? Yes, there's a dirty joke in there somewhere. So thank you very much for uh, staying, uh, tuning in. We're going to conclude with our rail fan video. We're going to go to the Cuyahoga Valley in Ohio to see the Nickel Plate Road number 765 going down the main line. I hope you enjoy it. If you excuse me, I had to get uh, my Memorial Day plans going. I want to go to a Norfolk Southern uh, rail yard and watch trains go by. And she wants to go to the beach. So... Wish me luck on this, uh, I mean, you know, and you can go to the beach anytime, but there could be a heritage unit. I mean, that that's one thing. I don't understand why she won't understand it. Oh, I mean, you can have sunscreen or you see tank cars. I mean, that's kind of connection, you know. Ice cream, anyone can get ice cream, but boxcars, I mean, there's got to be boxcars, gondolas, maybe even caboose. That'd be fun.